You've said in the past how it's not the result that matters, albeit it's three points, it's how you perform mm. on that day. The reasons why I say that is not to underestimate the scoreline. Of course, I want to win more than anyone, and I respect that everybody's trying to do that, and it's so difficult. But when I talk about the performance being more important to me than the result, it, it kind of what I'm trying to say is that I believe if we can play our game to the necessary levels that I believe we can in, in what we do is going to give us the best chance of being successful. We know that we've got top players at the top end of the pitch. We have the best striker who's, who's more than capable of, of scoring game in, game out. So, yeah, for me, it's always been about the performance and that gives you the best chance. How difficult is your job to keep everybody happy? Because it's so ultra-competitive in training and there are only a certain number of positions and places that you've got. Yeah, I think the game's changing so much more now that it's so important to have a, a, a squad, a really good squad, where there are good options from the sidelines because I think that's just the way most elite sport is going. The competition levels are really high. You want that, I think. I speak to Nick about when we won the league in 2016 and he said, you know, we probably had the smallest squad we've had in such a long time. 14 outfield players, minimal injuries, good defensive record. But it's so difficult to do that now because the demands on the game through international uh, camps and everything else, we've seen a high number of injuries coming in. And you're going to have to be really either fortunate or really well trained if you're going to have a small squad. So I think there's reasons behind it. We want to create the competition levels. It's the hardest job, keeping everyone happy. But I think once you realise you're not going to do it, <laughs> you're better. <laughs> You've said about also when you were a player, that dip in confidence, that dip in form, you had nowhere to turn to, no one to talk to. But the door is open in the way that the, the game has evolved over the years, and even more so now with, with players, that they can have those conversations without having to feel bad about them. Mm. Yeah, they can, but it's also hard. I think some players will struggle to come and knock on the door. And, and you can feel that sometimes. As much as we say we've got an open door policy, we want to help you, we want to support you, and there's really good support here at the club for that. Um, How do you break that down then? I think you need to just really understand individuals. If, you, if you're working with a player who's kind of, you can tell is, is probably wanting to say something but doesn't, feel comfortable in coming and knocking on the door then I think you have to not wait for them to come to you you have to you go to them yeah absolutely absolutely let's have a chat let's go for a walk you know how you feeling those types of things and then you start to break it down a little bit and the player hopefully then goes away whether they got the answers they want or not but they go away feeling hopefully a little bit better about it and have a clear plan of, of what they're gonna gonna do over the next few days are you a better coach now than you were when you took over the team in 2020 or have you changed as a coach? Oh, I've definitely changed. You have to remember I came, came through a, an, an, a system that was very much, if I tell you to jump, it's like, how high do you want me to jump? <laughs> it was kind of, if you didn't do what the manager said, you, did very, you had very little in, interaction with managers and coaches. I played the game so much in my mind, I was kind of like overthinking, guessing, you know, thinking I need to train really well today to get in the manager's eye, that kind of stuff. It was, it was probably a lot of anxieties around uh, wanting, to, wanting to get better and wanting to improve. So I think for me it's creating an environment for the, for the players here and the people here that they can be themselves. And making errors is okay. It's part of learning. I've certainly softened, I think, a lot. I think um, I'm so determined in what we do and how we play. I'm so passionate about that, and it means more to me probably than anything. But I also want to be, I want to be helpful. And sometimes being helpful is really pushing someone. I think, you know, I always remember back coaches, and the ones I probably really respected were the ones that really pushed and motivated me to be my very best. I guess creating an environment, though, is just as hard as trying to win a WSL title, isn't it? It takes time and, I, and, and it's, I bet when you were playing, things weren't maybe as tactful as they, as they have to be now. Yeah, but again, we're going for it. We've set our stall out this season. And we've named it at the beginning of the season about what we want to do. We want to win the league. We want to be in Europe and not just in the qualification process. We want to be in the, in the Champions League outright. And that's tough. 
is really tough. There's no doubt about it. And if we don't do it this season, we'll do it next season. You know, nothing changes in your pursuit of glory. And, you know, we're going up against a strong challenger in Chelsea. who have had years and years of really good support and really good trophy returns because of that necessary support. And obviously Emma doing the job year in, year out. She'll be completely different from when she started to year three to probably year six, seven, eight or 10 now, whatever it is that she's on before she departs. Um, and I'm sure she'll tell you that if you want to do something really good, it takes time. We're, we're building something here and we're really hungry to win. We are, there's no doubt about that, uh, but we know how difficult it is. What winning does is kind of quantifies the way you work. I think that's the biggest thing. Um, I've always said that I would never change my way in terms of not that I'm super stubborn, but I really believe in what we do. Now that comes from winning or even sometimes losing. I won't change, but what it does winning is solidifies everybody else's confidence in, in how we work.